what's up guys it's risky here welcome back to another call of the wild video today the brand new smoking barrels weapon pack is out. i believe that's what it's called smoking gun or smoking barrels something like that but anyways the brand new weapon pack is out very very exciting this is one we've, been, we've all been waiting for for quite some time now especially myself man the game has been kind of boring for me and i just been needing something to help spicing it up and today we finally got something to help do that so we're gonna not waste any time today this is just gonna be a showcase i'm gonna be showcasing all of the weapons and then i'm gonna be doing a hunt which each individual weapon over the next few days but anyways let's go over here to the store if you do purchase the dlc make sure you go over here to your store because i always get this question when i do these like i can't find my guns you got to come over here and you got to click buy it will be free but you have to buy them still technically and then they will be sent over here to your storage and they're all there i already have my little loadout set up we're gonna go test out the weapons in just a moment but i'm gonna show you guys all of the variations for all of these weapons so you can see we have the Hudzik 50, the M1 I Iwinek. It's obviously the M1 Grand, so that's just what I'm going to call it. And then we got the Miller Model 1891. So that's basically like the 10 gauge off of the Hunter Classic. You can see you got the Soul, the Reserve, and this is the Sheriff. It looks really cool. It's got like the nice gold engraving on the side. We're definitely going to see what that is all about on the side. See if we can figure out what the design is. You also have the Luna. You have the Terra. And for the M1 Grand, you got the collection. Very cool looking. Nice cherry wood or whatever that is. Very neat looking. And then you have the Veteran. It looks kind of beat up. It looks like it's been through World War II or something. So it's very cool. And here is the Miller 1891. And you can see there, there is the Deputy. It looks like it's got some kind of gold on it with some kind of design. I can't really tell. We'll check that out in a future video. But this is the Rancher. Just kind of like a dark wood. Just basic. That one looks really, really neat. Kind of reminds me of a gun off of Red Dead Redemption 2. All right, I'm just going to stand out here in the lighting. I'm just going to shoot my ammo. I don't really care if I spend it. I'll just buy more. But this is the Hudzik. We can't really see it too well. I wish there was kind of like an inspect button. That way you can inspect the rapid better. But we'll use the reload animation for that. But let's see. We can zero for 50, 75, and 100. So let's just go over here a little bit closer. And we will aim down the scope. Look at that. I'm going to do one shot with the scope and one shot without it. So let's just go ahead and whoa look at that now let's check out that reload animation try and get some better lighting there put the little ball in that was the the round balls we're gonna shoot the mini balls next actually or they're pronounced differently but i'm american and i don't know how to pronounce it properly so um i'm just gonna say mini balls the mini it's got like a minye i'm assuming maybe minye balls i don't know uh, but those are the round ones. These are the minis. These ones are four to eight, and these ones are class three to seven. So let's give these ones a shot and see if there's any difference. And these ones actually, you can shoot 100, 200, and 150. So that's good. Let's try out these iron sights. Look pretty neat. I didn't really notice any recoil difference, but very cool. Check out that reload animation once again with the mini balls. And it's actually the same ball in there. It doesn't actually show you a different one for the animation. Kind of unfortunate, but hey, it's just a little thing. It's not that big a deal. Pretty cool reload. Pretty cool reload animation. I do got to say, I like that. We're definitely going to be going out there and testing the muzzle loader, and probably the next video. But here we go. This is the M1 Grand. You can put a scope on it, which I'm honestly, whenever I use it, I'm probably not going to run a scope. I feel like it kind of, I don't know. I just, I don't see using the M1 Grand with a scope, but these are the sights. And this one shoots 30 out six it has five rounds i'm pretty sure the m1 grand in real life has an eight round clip not a magazine this is a clip and it's five rounds this is semi-automatic and this is one that a lot of people are like why the hell do we need this in the game i don't know is it the most practical weapon that could have been added probably not we probably could have got some other kind of cool hunting rifle out there that could be much better but are you going to complain about an m1 grand Please don't. This is like badass, man. It's how, how are you going to complain about this? It's like the coolest gun ever. This is one of my favorite guns ever made. But anyways, let's give it a shot. Oh, got a lot of recoil for a 30 out six, but I understand why. I think it has too much recoil. I, I don't I don't like that. All right, you ready? This is the last shot. We're going to hear the good old ping. Ooh, cool. All right, now let's reload it. Nice reload animation. It'd be cool if there was like a, a, a reload animation where he got like the grand thumb where he put the clip in and his clip or his thumb got snagged. You know what I'm talking about? You might. 
Um, but let's try and shoot it as fast as we can. I'm pretty sure the reason behind it having so much recoil is so you cannot like just spray down animals, which I don't see how you could with five rounds anyways, but sure, man. All right, that was me spamming the mouse as fast as I can. And you can see the ridiculous amount of recoil. Let me, let me try and do that while being accurate. I wasn't being completely accurate there on the target, but I was just trying to hit the, the board itself. But it's going to be pretty difficult to take really quick shots with this thing. I feel like the recoil is a little bit ridiculous. It's like implant grins realistically don't kick like a goddamn 50 cal. But whatever. Really cool gun. I'm very excited to go out and do some hunting with that. I'm sure it's exactly the same class as the normal 30 f 6 like the actual Eckers or whatever it's called. Now we got the 1891. This is the brand new shotgun. It's a lever action. It is the 10 gauge. Right now I have the brass bird shots loaded into it. So let's go ahead and aim down the sights. Pretty nice sights. I feel like this is going to be a really cool gun for hunting goose and stuff, hunting geese. In the Hunter Classic, it's very, very good for doing that and ducks. But let's go ahead and give it a shot. Whoa. Oh, that sounds good. I really like that sound. What's that engraving on the side? You can't really tell. It just looks like some random designs. You got zero to 50, 25, 50, and 75, just like everything else. If you put on the slugs, I do believe you got 75, 100, and 150, I think, if you put on the slugs. I'm not too sure. That's going to be really, really versatile for hunting geese. Let's try and shoot it as fast as we can. Dude, you're going to be able to slay some geese with this thing. Holy crap. And ducks. But I think the 10 gauge is more practical for the geese. Pretty cool reload animation. I like the fact that the shells are actually brass and they're not just like a, a plastic 10 gauge shell. That's really cool. Uh, I'm assuming that's because it's like an older model shotgun and that's probably what they made shotgun shells out of way back in the day. So really cool. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the showcase. If you do want to pick up a weapon or not weapon pack four, it's not actually called that. It's called the small smoking barrels or smoking gun i cannot remember exactly it's called something like that it is actually on steam right now and it's on sale it's a dollar off originally it's four dollars but right now it is three i think or two something like that uh, it's two or three dollars right now and the hunter called the wild is actually on a sale instead of it being like 20 bucks it's like six dollars on steam though i don't know about playstation or xbox i don't think it's on sale over there so if you want to get the game if you want to get this weapon pack now is the time to do so hopefully you guys did enjoy this Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to be going out into the wild and doing some hunting with these weapons. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.